Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have to talk about why did EA Sports go the complete opposite way that we expected them to go with content yesterday and how that's impacting the market right now and how it's setting up this week on a totally different note than what we thought it was going to be based off of the last two, actually three weeks inside of this game we were talking about upgrade packs yesterday we were talking about the team of the week upgrade which did get released and caused the market to move and we'll talk about that a little bit but there were no upgrade packs for the last three weeks on this game ea had upgrade packs for the first week of ones to watch the second week of ones to watch the first week for road to the knockouts so that led us to believe that we were going to be getting them yesterday on monday but ea pulled a hard and fast one why did they do this? They did not release any upgrade packs yesterday on Monday. Instead, they only released the Team of the Week upgrade with the exact same requirements that we may be expected. It's really, really cheap to do. But again, like we talked about with this pack, it just is not very good value. So I want to talk about this and how the market reacted to not having upgrade packs. Because with basically, if you go out and do one Team of the Week upgrade, which I feel like a lot of people with this SPC either didn't do it went out and did one or two most people on this game that is there's of course a lot of people that you know they just open packs whenever they can get their hands on them so there are definitely some people that are grinding this pack but i want to talk about how this made the market move yesterday and even into today on tuesday and how it's creating an entirely different scenario than what we expected that it was going to be ea definitely switched it up on us and that that's why we always have to be on our toes with this game and with this market. That's that's kind of like the fear of the unknown. With this market, the EA can release content, they can release packs, and this year with the power of supply and preview packs, all of that at their fingertips is like, it's a little scary sometimes being a trader, right? And it's a little bit scary maneuvering the market like this in a serious way because you never know when you're going to get burned. Well, today was the opposite, right? We were expecting to see prices go down into the beginning of this week with player picks and with people, you know, draining their clubs into trying to pack these promo cards. But instead, EA Sports just dropped an SBC that actually made the market go up. And right, the reason why the market went up into today on tuesday is because people saw the content maybe they did one team of the week upgrade sbc twelve thousand coins to do it's basically it's little to no risk because if you think about it a discard inform on this game is ten thousand eleven thousand coins anyway but like all of the packs that we opened yesterday yes this is a very quote unquote decent value pack but you there's no rating like guarantee on it right i packed i did one of them and i got a 78 rated inform i just think that this sbc to a lot of people doesn't carry that much weight and that's why you saw the market move like it did yesterday now speaking of this sbc a little bit more what happened we talked about panic selling on informs when and if this sbc was going to drop now we did 100 percent see that right a couple of cards that we saw panic on yesterday some of these informs dropped immediately when the SBC was released, Phil Foden went from 75,000 coins back down to about 67, 66,000 coins. I don't even know if Footbin caught the price drop. See, like this little price drop right here does not even do justice. These cards, like Foden was 75K. He dropped down to 67,000 coins in, in a span of like 10 minutes after this SBC was released. The panic selling was so quick and so fast and then people realized that this SBC is not it it is not giving out good cards and stuff shot right back up another great example is this Vinicius inform he was down to 310,000 coins on the panic cell uh, on Monday Ch check this out he was 330 in the morning with a slight dip here he was actually down to like 310 315 and then you know with the market being i guess a quiet monday where a lot of people wanted to go out and try cards and again they maybe have some coins coming off of their weekend league with rewards happening on monday morning you just saw the whole rest of the market just rebound up even higher including cards in packs like these rttk team two cards take a look at this timo verner right timo verner yesterday when there was no content 800,000 coins rose up to about 840 830k content drop we get the team of the week SBC and that's it. Boom, straight. He was basically almost 900,000 coins. He's back down to now about 850, but there is an insane buyback on these cards. Fred went from 295, 300,000 coins back up to 330, where he is now. Jesus Navas went from 95K to 110, 111. 
Uh, De Young was like under 700,000 coins. He kept going above um, 730, 740,000 coins. And Mobley continued to rise. So a lot of the market yesterday. And if, even if you take a look at some of these out-of-packs cards, Rodrigo is up further. Isak had a really big rise yesterday, kind of out of nowhere. This card went from about 88,000 coins and shot up to 100K in a couple hours uh, and again, this is basically based upon the fact that the content yesterday was we, we didn't get upgrade packs, right? We were expecting upgrade packs to come and that would drain coins off the market and take coins off of this game and kind of, you know, begin sort of our market slide for the week. But actually what we saw is an SBC that people didn't want to interact with and that made the market uh, go even higher, especially on some of these cards that people were investing in. Now, right now, I'm looking at this Upamecano wants to watch card at 195,000 coins, and I am screaming at you. I'm screaming if you own this card to sell it. Now, I know that 190,000 coins, this, this price may not last for a while, but that is literally, he has doubled in price. Now, he is expected to get into Team of the Week this week, but we know with the um, incredible amount of supply, on this game. I saw this price tonight and I had to shout this out. This is a sell, 100% for me. Sell it in the hype. Take your guaranteed coins again. If you're somebody who has cards that are increasing value right now on your team, some of these gold cards uh, even went up yet, uh, yesterday. This is an incredible time. Today into tonight, possibly it's gonna be an incredible time to take the cash and take the money on this market rise. Take advantage of EA doing something that we did not expect them to do and have it go right for us once, right, on the market. If you owned cards and, and had your money and items that went up in value, this is an opportunity to get out at a higher price because, again, I do 100% think that with ultimately the Scream or Rule Breakers promo coming on Friday and with these Road to the Knockouts going out of packs, I think there's a 100% chance in the buildup to the promo that is going to be coming on Friday that you will see people start to sell cards off again Wednesday. We always see that. So we'll see that probably tomorrow, but getting ahead of the curve and sell why, sell why other people are buying, right? We talk about that all the time. We buy when people are selling and we sell when people are buying. And what happened yesterday on this game is purely the fact that people were buying literally all across the market. You saw cards going up. You saw icons fluctuate pretty well. There were some good trades that you could have made yesterday. I was able to make a few pretty good trades, a couple icon flips, couple sales that we're still waiting on. But a lot of prices, you know, had some nice fluctuations. It was a good day to trade yesterday. Again, in the high market, it is a good time to trade. And that exactly, exactly is what we are in right now at this moment. Now, I don't expect that today on Tuesday, it's all gonna come crashing down, but who knows? I really have no idea what EA could have for us content-wise today on Tuesday. I think it's too late for them to release some sort of other you know, SBC, because Road to the Knockouts is, is basically over, right? Uh, you know, after today, these cards are out of packs. Road to the Knockouts Team 1 and the mini release. And part of what I wanna talk about in today's video is, can we invest in these cards? Because we've seen such a huge rise on almost all the all the cards that were in Road to the Knockouts team number one. If you look at this entire team, there is basically not a single card in here that has not risen in price. Now it helps that they started requiring Road to the Knockouts for SBCs, but I mean these cards have risen significantly in price in the past couple of days. I mean, you talk about cards like this Marquinhos who are down at like 650,000 coins at his absolute lowest, 680 on that Thursday has absolutely flown up to 832K as being basically one of the best, if not the best center back, non-icon center back in the game that people are using at this moment. Now, if we look at team two, here's a couple things with this. Now, a lot of these cards went up a lot from yesterday. So you might be thinking, hey, did I miss the time to buy? Can I invest in this stuff? Now, to be completely honest, I think what that depends on is what content we see today. If we have a tradable pack supply SBC today or something that brings some supply on this game, then it could create another opportunity for these cards. Now, what I'm going to say here is this. These cards might have a slight rise 
at the end of you know today into tomorrow i think these cards potentially it depends on the loading screen it depends on that sort of stuff uh there's no champions in the games this week of course none today none tomorrow uh but one thing i would really watch for with these cards is panic selling for this weekend's promo again we talk about the promos but new cards are going to come out they might release another premier league you know center midfielder or another um you know let's let's even say they re they release Another striker that is a high tier striker that's a big name player in this game, a card like Timo Werner could drop, right? As there's more special cards added to the game, especially if this Scream promo, which we are thinking that we will get on Friday, Scream or Rule Breakers, as they have renamed it, has been a pretty decent promo in years past. How could that affect some of these cards that are already on the game? Even though these are live cards, which does bode well for them, if I'm somebody who wants to buy one of these for my team, if I have not purchased them yet, um, which you know, to be honest with you, it seems like there's there's two potentials for low times here. One of the lowest times, we might have already witnessed it. It might have been last night, Monday night, heading into the day. That could have been the lowest time for these cards for the next couple of days. Or, again, we could have some panic coming on later this week. So if I'm looking at this team, the only way that I'm going to invest in some of these cards is if it is a very hyped, very meta card. And I think it's if it's on the cheap end, I'm going to be investing. Guys like Amavi, guys like Diada, uh, El Sharawi getting a lot of hype right now. Those are the types of cards that I would consider investing in. And if you're trying to invest in these cards for an out-of-packs rise... If there's any price drops today, you might be able to buy, but I think it's only a quick flip. Again, with this promo coming on Friday, whatever it may be, I really don't like investing in these cards as much as I liked investing in Team 1. I was even a little bit leery about Team 1, but of course we've seen these just cards absolutely fly. You might see some rises on these cards because usually in the second week of promos, the content is kind of quiet, right? And it's a little bit more dead if you will, that could promote a market rise on these items. Now, I'm not going to be investing, right? We have talked about this many times this year. Investing is just not the way. It really is not the way unless you find the right card in the right position. And last week, a lot of those cards were in the right spot with the rarity and with the position gaps that they filled, like the Zambrata, or not the Zambrata, the Robertson that we talked about being the best Premier League left back in the game. That's a kind of card that I would have been, in, you know, interested in investing in. Uh, but as of right now, with the way that the market is, I'm honestly just trading, right? I'm quick flipping. I'm using some of the trading methods that we have talked about, trading with icons, trading with position change, chemistry style, stuff like that. And I'm not putting many coins into these road to the knockout cards um, unless I see an opportunity for a quick flip. Now, of course, I think a lot of what this RTTK promo is, at least Team 2, a lot of Team 2 right now is waiting on this Renan Lodi card to get his price range update. And as of right now, he is still extinct at 100,000 coins. Will he be extinct before he goes out of packs is going to be the big question. I'm really, really curious to see if that happens. Uh, now, I'm not holding any of these. And I think if you are holding any of these, you got to wait for that price range update and sell immediately right after it happens. But this card, when the range gets updated, it's going to drop a ton and then bounce back up a little bit later after that, I think, because he's still a very usable and a very meta looking card. Now, we don't actually know from many, I guess, user accounts yet if he's actually that good. But I just wanted to talk about in this video today, some of that investing, right? Some of the investing potential for the RTTK team number two. Uh, as they do go out of packs, I'm, I'm just not a fan of investing, man. I'll be completely honest. I'm not a fan of investing. But right now, if you're somebody who likes to fluctuation trade, these informs are the best bang for your buck. These guys are moving around on the market. You could watch some gold cards as well. You know, uh, when the market gets high like this, sometimes you do see a, bi a bit of a sell-off around the time when this video is released, like late night UK time. And then you see start cards start to rise a little bit into the daytime UK uh, you know, we'll, we look at some golds, we, we look at some of these uh, other out of pack special cards that have moved, uh, and maybe find some deals on those cards early this morning if they've dropped off enough. But a lot of what I'm looking around and seeing, take a look at, at this uh, Yunmin Sun. Last night on the YouTube video, I remember looking at this card for 220,000 coins, and at the moment, he is 250,000, right? And these are gold cards that we know for a fact are going to get supplied more later on this week 
and drop. So again, this is like the absolute perfect scenario for you guys that had some cards that were in your team or you bought a card to try it out and you're wanting to know, should I take the cash? And to be completely honest, for a lot of these cards in this game with more supply coming and we know what supply does this market, I'm taking the coins on some of these gold cards that have gone up in price a little bit extra. Marquinhos, 130,000 coins. That is up. Uh, I mean, I take a look across all the gold cards. Your rente is up a little bit. People are investing for the uh, links to Renan Lodi. Uh, Mendy has even risen back up. Salah, 367. That is up, right? Pogba is up a little bit. I think that this would be a great time to be taking the cash on some of that stuff. And you know, if you want to invest in RTTK team two cards because you've seen how well they have done, um, as well as team one has done, again, what I would recommend is hopefully finding some little bit of a dip, right? These cards have just continually risen over the past 24 hours. Uh, try to find some sort of little dip, right? I know, I know this El Shirawi right now is up, right? He's got a lot of hype, 34,000 coins. Um, and yeah, I just don't like buying with the way this market is, right? This is kind of how the market was on the second week of ones to watch because the upgrade packs were not that good. You saw the market kind of rise and just feel like really dead, but it was kind of higher, right? On like Tuesday and even into Wednesday a little bit. And then a Wednesday, you saw it drop back off again, especially with the loading screens that came on Wednesday and on Thursday as we got road to the knockouts for the first time. So I really think that that's gonna be the story that is repeated again this week. So enjoy this higher market if you're somebody who likes to trade. And it, it makes it the market feel a little bit more safe, if you will, right? Because you have these cards that have gone up, people are buying, people feel like they missed out, right? And they maybe buy some of these cards at higher prices, so they're, they're good to trade with, they're good to fluctuation trade with. Um, but it also makes you wonder, is it the time to kind of sell because everybody else is buying and to me that answer is yes so again i'm really surprised that ea did not drop upgrade packs but i guess it's just something that we're gonna have to remember of course as these cards for the second week of promos are only in packs for you know th they're, they're in packs for two days less right they go out of packs on wednesdays instead of fridays so that is kind of something that we have to keep in mind going forward also they dropped some um some of i don't even know where this stuff is at i think it's in the store and in objectives, uh, they drop some like kits and TFOs and stuff. Uh, where is it at? It's the treat. They call this the treat, Halloween treat. Now, is this is this kind of like a preview and hinting that there is going to be a rule breaker slash Halloween promo? Or is this EA saying, okay, we're not going to do a Halloween promo and whatever is coming this Friday is something completely different. And this is the Halloween content that you're getting. There's like an objective that is out and available. Uh, there's stuff that's in the store as well, which I can't access from my unassigned at the moment. I think even EA tweeted about it yesterday. Uh, is they, they mentioned that the trick or treat items uh, were available. New foot stadium items available in store and via objective now in foot 22. Also, if you guys did not know this, there is a free pack that is available via Twitch Prime. If you guys have Amazon Prime, that means you have Twitch Prime as well and you can click the link that is on this tweet i'm going to put this link in the description of the video if you did not know that i'll put this link there and you can from there link your amazon Tw prime and twitch prime accounts which will get you this pack which was actually pretty cracked i packed a vardy out of one of these on my account it's basically a seven times rare gold players we saw a lot of walkouts a lot of board drops even packed a cristiano ronaldo and then the player picks that are inside of it of course pretty nice as well. So I would get this involved if you can, if you don't have Amazon Prime, maybe something worth looking into. You also get a free Twitch subscription to your favorite uh, streamer, by the way. So uh, the link to the Twitch stream is down below if you wanna get involved there. There's special sub perks that you can get involved with with that sub. But uh, that is a cheeky little plug that I guess I wanted to mention there uh, that we saw yesterday. Now also, um, we are gonna be having the title update released very soon for PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox, and Xbox Series X and S. So there's going to be another update to FIFA probably today. Usually it's like early in the, the morning hours of Tuesday that they release some of these updates. So that might change the gameplay a little bit. So just watch out for an, an update to the game uh, as you are loading into FIFA today on Tuesday or at some point on the day today 
on Tuesday. Usually when uh, FIFA Direct tweets it out, that then that means that it's coming pretty soon. So that's kind of the video for today, boys. Again, we I was surprised, 100% taken aback that I guess EA dropped the Team of the Week upgrade pack and didn't drop the player picks. I think a lot of people were looking towards player picks. I actually went out and bought some gold non-rares and rares for my club. Uh, but again, that, it's, it's just a nice reminder that again, EA is always in control and that we might think something is happening. We might be 100% positive that a certain promo, a certain piece of content is coming. But again, when EA is in control of this game, sometimes it doesn't happen that way. This, out, this time it worked in our favor. It probably won't work in our favor like that always. But let me know down below if you have any questions, if you should sell, if you should buy, what kind of players you're looking at. I'm really not investing again at this time. What I'm doing at the moment is just quick flip trading. A few icons that I've bought, a couple of special cards, bought this Robbo at 260. He went up higher to 280. Um, you know, a couple of these overnight flips that I bought some position change, chemistry style changes. I sold my Alaba ones to watch in the hype at 65K. That was a W as well. Uh, and then I have a couple uh, icons at the moment as well. Got a Desai for good prices, right? Good prices. I'm just kind of waiting for him to get a little bit more rare. He's kind of back down again. So if this gets back to 830, we'll take our money. That'll be a nice flip. But that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.